this is the present moment just this is the present moment life is descending on you in this present moment life does not happen in the past life does not happen in the future life happens here here now this moment you are experiencing life descending and pulsating in your heart the mind dwells on the past continuously moving towards the past it does not know the future dreams and desires project into the future but life is here here now we are continuously going back and back and back just living the past always memories of what happened how it should have been what were the problems how to solve them what to do who cheated me who created trouble who are the people continuously in the past friends families education everything is in the past all of us here are trying to solve the past issue but life is in the present how much you will solve of the past issues you go to the past and try to solve those issues which are not there it's just a shadow a figment of memory it's already gone and you're trying to solve past issues it just simply not present it's already moved on but you have not moved from the past to the present you are still trying to tackle the dead past everything even one hour before half an hour before one minute before one split second before is past just one second now this is past it is already gone away you cannot do anything to it you cannot hold on to it you cannot hold on to one second that just passed here now and you are trying to solve all the problems of all the past you cannot solve the last problem of the last minute this is the calamity of the mind continuously trying to solve the past 10 years 15 years 20 years 25 years years you cannot solve one minute and what are you paying the price of you're losing the possibility of this moment that is given to you again fresh keep going to tackle the past issues it will take you another life even if there was a problem one hour ago it will take you hours just to release that small little issue and you're trying to solve 5 years 10 years of the past and the mind has a tendency to remember all that went wrong everything that was wrong 
all the troubles that it faced because mind needs ego. It needs problems to solve. The mind is addicted to problems. It memorizes all the problems and forgets all the beauty, all the joy, all the bliss, all the love. It simply evaporates. All you remember in your memory is all that was ugly that happened in the past. And you come here to meditate and you want to solve all these issues. Solve the present. Just dive into the present and that will solve the whole past. Because the present is in your hands. The present moment is in your hands. You can create out of it. The past is no longer in your hands. Whatsoever may have happened is gone. Why even decide to solve it? Why waste time? Life is not forever. Why waste even one moment breath to solve anything of the past? Let it go. It's gone already. You're trying to hold and bring it back. You're trying to bring it back here. That I had this problem. I need to solve it now. It's already gone away. Why are you chasing after it? What does it fulfill in you? The ego? That look at the wounds I have had. Look at the problems I have faced. The bigger the problem, the bigger the ego. Mind does not remember bliss. Bliss simply transcends the mind. The mind only remains attached, addicted to problem solving. Do you understand what I mean? How many minutes of how many issues can you solve? And everybody has problems and problems are not problems. They're just the circumstances, situations that have not suited you in that moment. Completely drop the past. Otherwise you cannot live the present. And that is the greatest crime you can commit to yourself. That you are not living life that is given to you now. And you are trying to live the dead past that is already gone. Chase after it, run after it, continuously. Go to the therapist. Go to some teachers. Go to these people who will tell you how to solve all these issues. All these wounds. An intelligent person simply drops it, cuts it, gone. Past is past. You cannot do anything about it. But you can do something about your present. If you have learnt anything from the past, the learning should be, what can I do with my present? What can I do with the life that is given to me now? Without any... Remembrance of the past, it is gone. It was just a unique circumstance, a unique situation and the same situation does not arrive again and again. You will never come to the same problem again. You may have a new one, but not the same. These are just circumstances, accidental situations because you lived an accidental life. You were not conscious enough to live that life presently at that moment. Hence, accidents happen. They are bound to happen. But now you are alert, you are here, enjoy the life that is given to you, at least enjoy this much. Why devote this time into the past misery? Huge calamity. And not only this is a great calamity, but it destroys your whole future too. Because the whole past, you color it with all your judgments, with all your mind, with all that you faced that was ugly. And you project it into your future. All that happened that was not comfortable to you, you draw from it and you project the same mind into the future. So your past is destroying your future too and not allowing you to live the present. Just understand what I am saying. Your whole past is dragging you behind and all the memories of all that happened that was not comfortable is transferring its weight into the future. And your whole future is destroyed because the past is so heavy. You're projecting all the past ideas into the future. So you don't have a fresh future, you don't have a moment. You are spread out, worried about the future, 
that I will meet this again, this will happen again, that will happen. Because of this, I had this experience, this bad experience. I'm going to have it again. You destroyed your whole life. Do you understand? Drop the past completely so that you can create a fresh beginning and a fresh here now. Nobody lives in the moment. That means you're not living. Life is given this second, one pulse, one heartbeat, one heartbeat, one heartbeat. You have limited heartbeats. How can this limited space try to resolve all the past issues? Living in the present moment, dropping the past, creating a fresh opening into the future. Don't be closed because of the past. It is not helping you, it's destroying your future too. Do you understand? Because your same mind is going to apply these experiences into the possibilities that are unknown. And even if you're present, you're dreaming about the future. Where are you? Either in the past, protecting the future, dreaming the future, remembering the past, it's all over the place, but not here. Figment of imagination, dead memories or dreaming. Nobody lives. Because to live here, you don't need mind. You just have to live here. You have to see here. You have to be open here with no projection. Fearlessly, not expecting any moment in the future to be controlled by whatsoever is your experience of the past. Hence the mind rebels. It shows you no, 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 no. You don't know. There are, there's a wild forest out there. You know the past, how bad it's been protected for the future. And everything that you do will be patterned, conditioned, preconditioned by your past. This is the greatest calamity, that people are not living their lives at all. People don't live. How many seconds of your life have you lived? Start counting. How many seconds of your life have you lived? In 20 years, in 30 years, you will not remember any. It will be very difficult to find those moments you have lived. Because those moments will be peaked. It will be sudden. It will be so present that if you have experienced one single moment, you will know what it is to be present. It will create a totality out of you. You will be a force to be reckoned in. Because people are all living everywhere. So weak. One heartbeat you are spreading over 20 years of the past and 20 years into the future. One poor little heartbeat. One poor little heartbeat. You're not relishing the moment. Live this moment gracefully. With total acceptance. Whatsoever has happened has happened. Just completely let it go. And it is already gone. You don't need to let it go. You're clinging to it. Actually, I should not even say let it go. Because it is already gone. It has no time for you. It is already passed on. You don't need to let it go. Just drop the shit. Don't run after it. It is already gone. Imagine I say let the past go. It's foolish statement. It's already gone. How can you let something go that is already gone? But you want to bring it here. Otherwise you feel meaningless. There are no wounds in my heart. I'm just a celebrator. I have no sorrow, then what does it make me? An idiot. Life is only here, very small window. And this window is vertical. And the more you learn to live this vertical window, the deeper you penetrate life. And the higher you ascend into the sky. And the deeper you penetrate into life in this moment, and the higher you ascend into life in this moment, it's all about living here. 
totally higher and deeper and deeper and higher and higher and deeper and deeper. And deeper. It's always here. It's always here. Drop the past weight and you will start floating. You will become weightless. Not a split second you will remember because you are so totally present. And you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into the well of life. It is infathomable deep. Keep going deeper into life now. Get the practice of living this moment. And everything else will disappear. And all these clouds will simply evaporate. By living the present, you drop the past. You don't need to project the ugly past or whatsoever in the past into the future. Because both are imagination. One is a mind, one is a figment of imagination. And you can understand, you're coloring your whole future with the past experiences. You're not open to the future. You are closed. So you've closed your future too. How much more crime can you commit against yourself? What more do you want to do against yourself? How ungrateful you are to life which is giving you life now. It is a crime. And no need to solve any past. At all. No matter what it may have been. You are not a sissy, a baby, crying about it. Gone is gone. Finished. Over. Cut it. Gone. You have that much power and strength. Just cut one time gone. Finished. I have better things to do in my life. 